Hey guys, just wanted to take a uh, quick video of this uh, 69 Chevelle convertible. Uh, so the car uh, actually belongs to my father. Uh, he purchased it uh, almost 30 years ago um, out of Laguna Beach, California. Uh, I honestly grew up in this car. Um, we drove it a ton growing up over the years. Um, it's gone through a few motors and a few iterations. Uh, the most recent one though being uh, in June of 2019 uh, really went through a complete transformation uh, by the crew over at Hot Rod Magazine for one of their projects uh, called Week to Wicked where basically in a week's time uh, they totally redid all the mechanicals of the car uh, motor transmission rear end suspension wheels and tires gauges uh, no real cosmetic uh, paint and upholstery was done all the trims great but all the mechanicals was featured in the November uh, 2019 issue of Hot Rod Magazine uh, has a bunch of, uh, of professionally edited videos from that build all that went on uh, the Hot Rod and the Motor Trend uh, YouTube pages and social uh, social media handles Car's got about uh, just over 500 miles on it since uh, since all that work was done. Just kind of break it in and work out all the bugs. But uh, we'll walk around the car. So the car was painted, uh, repainted back in 2008. Uh, is when we did the paint and the upholstery. And honestly, the car's seen. Uh, not not a ton of miles since uh, been garaged and covered and, and kind of pampered trim chrome and stainless and all the trims in great shape uh, we just replaced a few pieces uh, the headlight bezels and a couple little trim pieces uh, were just replaced as were these little hood grills As you can see, the paint is in great shape. Phenomenal paint job. It's got its, you know, a few little nicks and scratches here and there, but overall in great shape. Love that 69 front end. Wellwood uh, disc brakes front and rear were done by the crew at Hot Rod Magazine. chrome and stainless trim back here is in great shape car drives absolutely incredible uh, so it's a Chevrolet Performance LS3 I'll show you the motor here in a bit but uh, 4L 65e trans by Gearstar and a strange S60 rear end uh, all QA1 suspension QA1 their, their full stage 3 kit with coilovers front and rear and again the Willwood uh, disc brakes Show the upholstery again. Upholstery was done uh, around 08 ish, as was the uh, new convertible top. But like I said, since 08, the thing's just been been pampered, garaged, and covered, and, and uh, driven very little. 
Also during the, the rebuild uh, last summer by Hot Rod, uh, put in these neat uh, Dakota digital gauges. They really look like a factory gauge, but all digital. Got a ton of options. I mean, you can calculate your zero to 60 times and top speed and all kinds of stuff. They're pretty trick gauges. So again, upholstery is all in great shape. Carpet's in great shape. No rips or tears or anything. And the boot, convertible tops down. There are some photos of it. Convertible tops, basically new, in great shape. To get in here, I'll fire it up. Show you the gauges. It's got 562 miles on it since the rebuild. And again, there's all kinds of options in these, which is great. Range, trip meters, volt fuel, zero to 60 times, high speed. They do all kinds of stuff, which, are, which is pretty cool. Sounds absolutely incredible. down real quick so again Chevrolet performance LS 376 we got a plane flying over one sec So again, Chevrolet Performance LS3. Uh, this is their LS376, which is uh, basically their, their, their LS, uh, LS3 with a hot cam in it. So it gives about 100 extra horsepower. Um, ton of Holly parts, uh, all Holly uh, intake and fuel injection. Uh, it's uh, Hooker Blackheart stainless, long tube headers and full, uh, full Holly exhaust. Everything's new under here. Uh, Willwood master cylinder and proportioning valve for those Willwood disc brakes. Motor uh, from Chevrolet Performance makes 533 horsepower. Uh, we had a dyno tuned at West Tech Performance here in Southern California uh, and it made 433 to the tire. Uh, and obviously we weren't going for big power. We were just going for nice, drivable, usable power. Uh, so yeah, it was 433 to the tire. I'm sorry, 444 to the tire. So it's 533 from Chevrolet Performance. It was 444 to the tire. Again, all tuned by West Tech. They went through everything with the fuel injection, made sure everything was good. Runs like a champ. Nice polished aluminum radiator and spall fan from US Radiator. Under here is just real clean. Nothing crazy. Underside of the hood's all real clean. It's got all these nice polished bolts everywhere. 
It's real clean and sanitary under here. Again, everything's new, about 500 miles on all this. I can show you underneath a little bit. Not much to see, but again, all QA1. There's stage three suspension. Coilovers front and rear. All tubular control arms. Upper lower control arms front and back. Uh, transmissions uh, from Gearstar. It's a 4L65E with a uh, with a billet yank converter. I think those transmit. I think they rate those to like six, seven hundred horsepower. So more that can handle uh, way more power than we're throwing at it. And a strange S60 uh, rear end. Again, just super, super stout. Drive line can handle more power than than we're throwing at it. So again, just a real clean car. Again, it's uh, been in my family for the last thirty years. We purchased it out of Laguna Beach, California in the early 90s. So the last 30 years, the car has really been, been pampered. We bought it as just a, a nice restored driver. It had a, a 350, 350 and a 10-bolt in it, and we drove it like that for years. Had a few different 350s in it over the years, but never anything like this. Like this uh, latest iteration. Cars in Costa Mesa, California. If anybody wants to come check it out. Got a ton of paperwork on all the recent parts that were put on it. Uh, and again, there's a ton of video, professionally edited video from the build that was done by the crew at Hot Rod Magazine uh, editors and their tech center crew uh, in Southern California. Uh, again, it was in uh, the November 2019 issue of Hot Rod. Um, so that's the nice thing. There's a ton. You can basically see the whole build done. Got some t-shirts and some posters that the car was on. Uh, the posters were passed out at the SEMA show in 2019. I'll throw in a couple of those. Some, some copies of the magazine. A few t-shirts from the build. photos you want to see any close-up photos uh, original style seat belts up front uh, you can't see them in the back because they're tucked in but there are three of those same original style GM seat belts in the in the rear as well they're just tucked in out of the way guys feel free to reach out love to answer any questions you guys have and uh happy bidding <laughs>